Welcome to Rolling Hills in St. Augustine. Now, I'm going to say the name Rolling Hills in Florida probably isn't super descriptive of the actual landscape. This is a cool neighborhood, and one thing that I love about this neighborhood is that it's sort of just its own thing. It's one builder. It doesn't have a lot of flashy amenities. In fact, this little pond that I'm sitting in front of is just kind of one of the, the main parks that they have in here. Super low-key but it also keeps the cost down. And for buyers that I have looking in here right now that are building, they're actually just putting in their own pool anyway. So they don't need a lot of extras. They don't need a lot of extra costs. And this just works out really well. I want to say there's 50, 60 homes, something like that. So kind of a hidden gem. It's almost finished building, but there's a lot of other neighborhoods like this one. So let's talk about these type of little hidden gem neighborhoods. I'm going to show you a couple houses in here so you can get an idea of what, in this case, the builder Pulte is building. And uh, yeah, we'll go from there and see where this little jaunty, jaunty, this journey takes us. All right, so we are here in Rolling Hills and I wanted to show you, we're going to show you, this is a trail side model and I actually have one. Uh, closing tomorrow and so it's almost done it's all done for all intents and purposes and uh, it's just over yonder that way so I'm going to show you a completed one but uh, first I figured we'd walk through one that is uh, before the drywall goes up just so you can see I don't know if you want to see a before and after this is about as close as we're going to get today so looking right here it's a three-car garage five-bedroom home this one will have lake views, although the lake views in here are not as cool as we thought they were going to be looking at a map when this neighborhood first started. Uh, you'll notice that there's a lake, but then there's a chain link fence. And so they, the builder put a, like a fence in front of that fence kind of thing. And so second story, you have some nice lake views. First story, not so much, but there's nothing shady. Everyone knew what they're getting into when they're building these houses. Just initially, when we looked at the neighborhood, looked at the maps, uh, the lake lots looked a lot better than what we expected. But again, just a really good reason to work with someone local that has boots on the ground that can, uh, you know, give you an idea of what's up. So if this is open, we'll go in the front door here. That's a really pretty insert. So I'll try to remember how I did the finished house tour. And I think we went this way first. So remember we went in and we turned around and checked out the garage and they'd done epoxy on the floor. So you get to see a garage with epoxy in the floor. And then I think these guys have a water softener loop and the water heater will be over there in the corner. This is not a natural gas community. So there is a water heater uh, tank. Some storage under the stairs there. And this is one of my favorite times to be shooting video in a house because the insulation's in and the drywall's not up. So the acoustics are beautiful in here. <laughs> so here's what I mean about the fence in the back. And uh, if we go up really high, you can see there's water over there. We'll see from the second story. AC pad over here. Here's the dining cafe area. Refrigerator. Oven microwave probably combo it is vented to the outside so that's where the stinky fish smell goes out there oh no sorry fridge is here and uh this looks like they have a plastic insert for the tub going in right here for this uh, bedroom bath combo. The house that we're gonna look at that's completed has a tile tub right here. So it didn't have the plastic insert.
So this is cool floor plan because of all these rooms over the garage right here, you come upstairs and you feel like, at least when it's finished, you have this loft area, you have two bedrooms right here. And back behind you right here, you've got another bathroom, full bath. And it kind of, except for the fact we haven't seen an owner suite yet, it feels like it's pretty done. Then you go down this hallway, you've got a whole other two bedrooms and a owner suite bath. And the laundry room. The laundry will be here. Looks like they've got room for a laundry sink in this one. Bedroom number four. And we'll fire over to the owner's suite here. So again, just so you can see what I'm talking about here. No one wanted to have a big chain link with barbed wire fence right behind their house. So the builder did the best they could and they put up this white fence but obviously it blocks this lake view that on the map looked super incredible. <laughs> it's a great big lake, but it's not owned by the builder. It's not owned by the neighborhood. So again, if you're looking at building down here in St. Augustine, St. John's County, Jacksonville, Florida, work with somebody, even if it's not me, get someone with boots on the ground that can Make sure you know about things like that that show up on, don't, it looks great on a map, but when you're in person, it doesn't look so good. And it'll stop you from running into unwanted surprises. A lot of times surprises are fun in life and then in new construction and in real estate, typically we don't like surprises. So anyways, uh, that is the, I think this is called the trail side. And we're gonna pop over to one that is finished that I have buyers closing on tomorrow. And uh, we'll go from there as we check out this little hidden gem called Rolling Hills. So we've seen what a house looks like uh, while it's under construction. Now let's take a look at the same floor plan that is actually getting ready to close tomorrow. Just over here behind me, you see 103 right here is just about to close. And uh, let's go in and take a look. So we are here. We're going to do the pre-close walk at Pulte, they call it the... Uh, pre-closed new home celebration or something like that. But uh, behind me uh, here in Rolling Hills, uh, we've got a really, really nice build right here. And tomorrow is closing. The uh, buyer's about to show up. I see builders popping over in a second. Uh, but we're going to do a little walkthrough and show you what a house looks like the day before closing. And there'll still be some workers around. There'll still be some people um, doing different work in here. getting everything ready for closing tomorrow. So popping out to the garage. This is not a natural gas community. So you see you got the hot water heater there and then sometimes they put a little ramp or something in front some kind of blocker so you don't run into it another cool thing i've seen most of the builders have now is this these closers where you can um be able to close your garage door or check it make sure it's closed from anywhere So they're just um, getting the cabinetry all set up, getting all the hardware put on. It wasn't on before. Yeah. 
Really nice preserved lot out here. It's a little guest bedroom down here. A lot of people have been looking to make sure they have a um, downstairs bedroom bath ensuite type of deal. So you see they've got that here on the first floor where their owner suite is upstairs on this one. There's actually a really big demand right now for multi-generational living. So um that's not quite what this is you know there's no little kitchen or anything like that with the other kicking my shoes off here there's no little kitchen or anything in here but um having at least a downstairs extra bedroom and bathroom is becoming critical for the in-laws coming in or just guests this floor plan's crazy because you kind of you see the downstairs, you pop upstairs, and it just looks like uh, you have this bathroom here. You have this sort of wing over on this side. Hey. Good morning. Good morning. Hello, bro. Sorry. And then you've got these two bedrooms in the loft here, which I'll show you. Little bedroom. No, I know that. But then you go down here and you got the whole other wing of the house, including the owner suite. So there's still some punch list stuff going on here. You see the X on the floor. Where is it? Am I seeing it there? That says there's something up above that needs fixing. I think it was just that little panel to the um, access to the mechanicals up to the attic there. Upstairs owner suite, typically an upstairs laundry room. You got a spare bedroom here with nice views. I'm gonna pop over here to the owner suite. You see all this green tape on the ground means that the drywallers have been fixing stuff up. Usually have walkthroughs were blue tape for paint, green tape for drywall. It's pretty standard with all the builders. Look at these views. And they're still knocking out some parts of this stuff in here, so I'll let them work, stay out of the way. This has definitely had a lot of tile issues. There was a lot of sloppy work on the tile uh, but to the builder's credit looks like they've uh, fixed it downstairs in the bathroom that I showed you earlier and I think they're still in the process of fixing it up in the masters right now in the master suite so um, good news for my buyers they're gonna have some nice looking um, uh, nice looking tile in their bathroom but this is a pretty standard build here this is uh, by Pulte in Rolling Hills looks really good The buyers did have an inspection done with a private inspector. And uh, what we did with that last week is we brought that to the builder and the builder went through it and fixed everything on the inspection. So absolutely man, okay, I can't demand it, but recommend you get a, a private inspector in. Uh, worth their weight in gold will definitely help uh, even guide the builders. The builders appreciate it a lot of times because it helps them find some things that needs attention and makes buyers happy. So there are a lot of cool little neighborhoods like this one, little hidden gems we like to call them. And this one here, as we mentioned, Rolling Hills is just an example. And see right, this location right here, just kind of plopped down, not in the middle of nowhere. There's actually a Publix and grocery store that's really close by right up there. So cool little neighborhood. I'll give you a little shot of the um, placard coming in. But again, these little neighborhoods are awesome for people that maybe 
just want low cost, don't want like a huge crazy HOA cost and they want to maybe put their own pool in or they don't want a pool, they just want to hang out on their preserve lot or in their back patio and enjoy a more quiet reserve lifestyle. If you'd like to nor, know more about little hidden neighborhoods, this one's almost built out. You look down here, there's not too many left. I know this lot right beside this house that's under construction here is already sold. I got some buyers that are building that one there. And you look around this way, pretty much everything is done down on these preserved lots that go down this way here. But that's the bad news. The good news is there are other neighborhoods just like this one that people don't even know about yet. There's ones that even I don't know about yet. There's ones that aren't even planned yet. But as they come up, builders reach out to me because I have those relationships and they let me know what's coming up. And I want to let you guys know what's coming up. So please reach out, get on my email list, whatever. Uh, get uh, Order my newsletter, subscribe to my newsletter so I can uh, let you know what's coming so you don't miss out on these uh, cool little hidden gems Coming up later in 2024, 25, 26, who knows what the landscape's going to look like in 27 and beyond. But right now, there's a lot of cool little things popping up all over the place.